Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Welcome to the Grow Tent, everybody. You have found the best growing channel on YouTube, man. The place where we simplify the approach for you so everyone can learn how to grow. We make it so simple, even I can understand. So I'm going to listen and learn right now. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Grow Tent. We got a great episode for you today. Today, we're going to be talking about, uh, well, it's actually a viewer submitted question. It's uh, right up here. Uh, I believe it says something to the effect of, uh, I have four plants. They're in the same environment. They're all the same line, and uh, they're growing at different rates. Why is this? So today, that's what we're going to talk about. Why the plants grow at different sizes, even though they're in the same environment, same soil, same pots, same light same conditions, same everything, why are they still growing at different rates? So we're going to talk about that today and what you can do to fix it. Uh, guys, first though, if you haven't joined a membership page, you might want to check it out. You can find it in a link to it in the video description below. We have our own website. We've built our own uh, pretty much uh, social media site for all of us uh, growers. You get links to, you get access to my Discord and get one-on-one -on -one consultations with me. I sit here just like this and we go over your plants, help you uh, get to a... Uh, better, faster, quicker, everything. <laughs> and there's a lot of really cool bonuses with it too, so you might want to check it out. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? Oh, what's going on? What's going on? All right, we're done with the intro. The intro, the, that part's over. It's everybody's least favorite part. It's my least favorite part too. Uh, guys, so why do the plants do this? Um, it, you're not alone first. You're not alone. Everybody's plants do this. It may not be drastic differences where one's three foot tall and one's one foot tall. You got a one foot tall plant with the other plants are doing three foot tall. Just kill the one foot, veg the three foot plants a little bit bigger to make up for it. Don't take that one that one foot plant that's a way underachiever. Don't take those into flower. Um, this is one of the things we have to do whenever we are whenever we're gardening. We have to make judgment calls. So the first thing is genetically. It could just be that. You know, some of the plants are underachievers. This is the reason whenever we bring plants to a garden, we always want to bring in more than we have to because if we've got three overachievers and one underachiever, it's way easier just to, you know, throw the wheat from the cliff and get rid of the underachiever than to try to constantly have it keep up with the bigger plants. So number one is genetically. Uh, it just, just they cannot keep up with the other ones. You have overachievers, you have underachievers. It's just the way it is um, and it's not anything that you're doing or it's just it, they're just like uh, whenever you're growing from seed these are just like children even though they came from the same parents the children aren't identical clones of the parents because that's not the way DNA works these are not clones of what they were so whenever you're growing from seed it, you can have a super big variation of how the individual plants grow because remember they are individuals we're talking about a living breathing eating thing here and does that make you ever feel bad about smoking them after that? Like, do you know they scream whenever you cut them down? We can't hear them, but whenever you actually cut these plants down, they scream. <laughs> does that make you feel bad? Every once in a while, I feel a little bit bad about that part, knowing that I'm chopping them down, but then I get over it real quick. <laughs> whenever I start to smell them. <laughs> All right, but... Um, so it can just be genetically. It can also be just placement in the tent maybe by fan position, maybe that one's drying out a little bit quicker, maybe it's staying wetter a little bit longer, maybe the other one's drying out too fast. So it could just also be positioning in tent or positioning in, you know, in, you know, in relevance to where the equipment is. Is it a big deal? No. Everybody goes through this, unless you're growing from like a generation eight, you know, uh, clone, those grow pretty. Whenever you're growing from clone, you're growing actually the exact same plant, unless you're growing clones from different mothers, but... Good morning, bud. How are you? Yeah, okay. Love you. The sun just got up. Um, so, is there, is there anything to be concerned about? No. Uh, everybody goes through this. The plant's growing at different rates. Now, unless it's like way, way terrible. Like, I've got three plants that are doing amazing. They look great. And i got one plant that looks, you know, it's short and stubby and it's not anywhere near the other ones. Just kill that one you don't don't try and train the big you know the three of them all the way down to match the little short stubby one just get rid of the short stubby one extend your veg a week and then make up for the difference there but 
Now, how do we rectify it? Maybe there's not that extreme of a difference between the majority of the tent and the small minority of the tent. What do you do then? They're like, yeah, they're just a little bit off. I got some that are this tall and some that are this tall. Yeah, great. This is where you come in. So genetics, position of tent, all that stuff doesn't matter. This is where your ability as a gardener comes in and you are going to use your, you are, remember, you are the artist. The plants are your canvas and your training methods, be it low stress training, main lining, uh, topping, femming, super cropping, or using those like little clips to do a different form of super cropping, like a low stress version, training version of it. Those are your artist tools, your paint brushes, your, you know, whatever you want to use, your rollers. Those are your tools to get your canopy to match. Remember, everybody goes through this. Everybody has to deal with canopy management because we remember we want to keep everything even. That's how we get everything wider, faster, and we get through veg quick, quicker to get to where we all want to be, which is flower. So you're like, all right, GT, so what do I do? So we've done a few videos on different training methods. I've pretty much done videos on all of them except mainlining because I don't like mainlining. But hey, if you like it, don't don't send me oh, I love mainlining that makes my plant great I just don't like it. I said I don't like it I didn't say you couldn't do it I said I don't like it you can do it just fine so your goal is to keep everything nice and flat so if you've got some plants that are this tall and some plants that are this tall you need to use training methods to bring this one over here and bring it down to the same level as this one over here uh, so that everybody is at the same level because if they're not at the same level now this plant's getting more light than this plant's getting and now this one's probably going to start going through more food than this one's going to start going through and now you've got things all out of whack. Instead, take this one, bring it down to here and you can do that through topping, super cropping, low stress, whichever ones you want to use. I don't care if you want to grab the branches, pull them down with the you know, your strings or whatever or your wire ties and pull them down to the side of the bucket. Just the goal is to get everything the same height because they all grow better, they grow faster, wider, when everybody's getting the same uh, thing. So the main thing here is you will use your training methods to get through this, okay? Um, if you're ever confused about which training method, you can always just send me pictures. I, you know, I try to get through emails, but you can send them to thegrowtent at gmail.com. I try to get through them, I do, because I'm a big idiot that puts, uh, that puts his uh, email online like that. I do get a lot of emails. Um, so I try to get through as many as I can a day. I don't always get through all of them. I don't ever get through all of them. Um, but if I don't answer you after two or three days, just send me another one. Hopefully, you know, you're kind of playing the odds because if you don't have to two or three days, it could be thousands buried deep by then. So just send me an email and I can go over it with you. Or if you want quicker responses, you can always join the membership page and I get to, I do those daily. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with your garden. Everybody experiences this. Everybody has to go through it. You just have to learn training methods to keep your canopy even. All right. There's nothing wrong with the plants. There's nothing wrong with your genetics, wherever you got them from. It is simply... You have to use your training methods to keep the plants even. Just remember, the more even they are, the faster they grow. All right? I hope this answered your question. I hope it wasn't uh, confusing at all. If you do have any other questions on this, once again, you can always email me. I'm probably going to put that second one up. But if I don't, hey, pat on the back. If I, if I do forget, bad GT. Um, you can always just email me, and I can go over it with you. All right? I hope this clarified everything for you. I know you posted that that comment a few different places, so I could tell you were a little uh, a little nervous about it. But uh, don't worry, everybody goes. Through, I mean, everyone deals with plants that are not even with each other. All right, it's nothing you're doing wrong. You're doing just fine. All right. I hope you guys all have a great week coming up. And uh, all, if you guys got in on the uh, the pre-sale for the t-shirts the other week. Uh, for uh, just know that those shirts have been ordered and it's usually like two and a half three weeks before they're done and as soon as they're done I'll do a little post up on maybe on Instagram or something let everybody know the t-shirts are in and then I will start mailing those out but everything else is in all the stickers and slaps and uh, bracelets I mean 
everything is is in the only thing we're waiting on the t-shirts those are always the last thing to come in but all the shipping supplies everything is here and ready to go all the bags are made all the free gifts are all set up <laughs> all right guys i hope everybody has a fantastic week i'll see you guys next time remember if you have any questions just like this throw them in the comments below i might turn your question into an episode for the show all right i'll see you guys later gt out Thank you.